Hey guys, it's JJ NASCAR. Um, this is a very strange glitch that I found on NR2003 at Fort Wayne. This is now another one of those uh, speedways that I'm going to be that get a lot of really good crashes that I'm probably going to be posting for, just like Lozo 7, Zanjoltis, and and uh, what was it? And Coca-Cola Speedway. But it's mo but this is this is going to be another uh, one, just like like I said, Lozo 7 and Zanjoltis. But this, but this is a very strange glitch I came across. Bob, it's Bob, this um, encounters Bobby Labonte getting stuck on lap 14, and ba and he's like it, he's still in motion. And um, as the ticker board says, when when it was originally uh, like when it was filming live, it said QT or no DQ for uh, for him. Now just watch, watch when he gets to the start finish line. You'll see the lap counter won't change for him. This this is this happened for quite a bit until he finally like gets he quit or something. See, didn't change to 15. He pro he kept running uh at, at on lap 14 14 for a little bit a little bit over 10 more laps until uh he officially I guess he like he must have like stopped or something. But um I just want to say this is I just wanted to share that with you guys. I'm not sure why Bobby Labonte got stuck on lap 14. But um, just wanted to share that with you guys. And like I said, it ke it it kept him at 37th place because I, ge I guess uh, and it said QT or no DQ. I mean, I guess it may I'm not sure what DQ means as well. I'm I'm thinking it means didn't qualify. But that but I'm not sure. But so um, leave your inter leave your opinions to see why do you think Bobby Labonte got stuck on lap 14 and what do you think DQ stands for? I'm. So that's pretty much it. See you. Bye.